When you're trying to co-parent with a narcissist, they will literally try to control your time. And if you're new here, I'm a diagnosed narcissist. I have narcissist personality disorder. So what I mean by controlling your time is by giving you open windows to receive and pick up the child or whatnot. What I would do, I would say, hey, I'll be over there tomorrow to get my baby. You would say, what time? And then I would just say, uh, I'll be over there tomorrow. By not giving you a definitive time, I've just tied your whole entire day up tomorrow. And I might not even show up till late, 7, 8 p.m. or not at all. And guess what? You, if you haven't made a backup plan, then you just lost your entire day. So any plans you had, go out the window. Any dates that you had, the narcissist worried about you going on the dates, go out the window. It is 100% a form of control. That's why you need to have a parenting agreement with agreed upon times, pick up times and drop off times. Because if you don't, they will literally control your time, your day and stuff like that. I'm just speaking from experience. And now y'all gonna judge me. It's like, hey, Lee, you're evil for doing that. But I'm a narcissist. I told you, I've, I've been doing this for years. That's how I can provide the perspective on it. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am Seth Word Narcissist Lee Hammock, also known as Mental Illness from TikTok. I am a diagnosed narcissist, and the point of my platform is to bring awareness to narcissistic personality disorder, and also, in the process, validate the victims and survivors of, you know, said disorder. The point of this series is to take my TikToks and YouTube shorts and, you know, go on to, like, expound upon them, to open them up a little bit and to, like, go into more detail about them. This episode you just watched right here is about, you know, a narcissist using their kids to control your time. So if you are, this is like one of the age old co-parenting manipulative controlling tactics that a narcissist will employ. So if you discarded the narcissist or the narcissist discarded you or you are divorcing them or you separate or you broken up or whatever, but you have to, you know, share custody of children then this is a way a narcissist will like literally control your days and time and keep you, you know, kind of keep you in the house and not going out and doing the stuff that you want to do. And also continue to be frustrated and allow the narcissist to trigger you. So I, the example that I gave in here would be like when, you know, a narcissist will tell you, you you'll contact, if you don't have a, an agreed parenting arrangement or a set court schedule to pick up and receive the kids that you need to stick by, then you will get manipulated by a narcissist because they will use this agreement, they will use this time and effort and energy to control, like control you. Like let's say, hey, I'm going to pick up the baby. I'll be, I'll be over there tomorrow to get the kids. You will say, what time tomorrow? And they'll just stop contacting you. They'll go dark and, or just they'll just respond, uh, tomorrow, just have them ready. So you will sit around, you, you expect it in your mind, um, okay, I guess they come and give it, come get it them tomorrow morning. So you start making plans for the afternoon, evening to go out with your friends or to you know go out, go out on a date or move on or something like that. Um, but then the narcissist doesn't show up, or they show up super extremely late. They come at like six p.m. or seven p.m. and you were expecting them by like twelve or one or something like that. So you spent the whole day not doing anything, but waiting around on them because you didn't want to upset the apple cart. You didn't want to push their buttons. You didn't want to trigger them. You didn't want to start a fight with them. You know, but they have successfully controlled your time. Well, they knew they knew exactly what time that they were going to come, but they just told they didn't tell you, so they can keep you docile. They keep you sitting in the house. They can keep you waiting around or ruin or having to cancel your plans. So that's why I always say you need to have a set, um, you need to have a set arrangement or a backup plan in place to just in case that that happens because or it'll keep the cycle will continue. The cycle will continue, and it works both ways. It works for the the the, the uh, Mom and dad. The mom will just restrict restrict you from seeing the kids or and or do the same type of stuff. Like I'll bring them over there by two. And then they'll show up to like six. You know, and then you waiting around or whatever, your plan you had to cancel your plans, you have to change your day around and stuff like that. So you need to have an agreed upon, you know, parenting schedule, a set time, date, and everything like that. To be able to keep to keep your sanity and to, to be able to restrict the narcissistic person's control over you and the, the manipulating you because that right there will trigger you. Because imagine if you were, you had a plan, you're like, okay, they're gonna come get them in the morning, come get the uh, come get our son tomorrow morning or whatever. And when they come in, they come tomorrow morning. I'll you know, I have the whole day to myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna have a spa day. I'm gonna go to the movies myself. I'm gonna take myself out. I'm gonna go do something. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna do whatever I wanted to do. But the, all those plans have to get canceled because they don't show up to six p.m. instead of showing up at ten a.m. Oh yeah, and then now you ruined. Now you're mad. Now you're angry. They come, they come up like, hey, there's daddy, there's mama's baby, there's daddy's baby, and stuff like that. Now you're angry. Here now ensues an argument. Now they've triggered you. Now you look, now you look crazy in front of like the other parent. Like there's some step parents involved, or uh, some friends and family there, or p public. They might video record you going crazy, screaming at them for being eight hours late coming to pick the kids up because they'll do. 
they'll do that with like with the open end of time. They'll do it with, like I'm coming tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, or I'm coming tomorrow afternoon or whatever. They'll do that with the open end of time, or they'll set a they'll set a time and just show up five, six, seven hours late. Cause that's sometimes that can be even worse. They'll tell you that uh, I'll be over there at eleven a.m. and they show up at seven p.m. Oh, sorry, I lost track of time. Uh, sorry, my phone was off. Uh, sorry, I just uh, forgot. Sorry, I slipped my mind. Sorry, I got sick. So just some kind of the felonious excuse that they could have let you know. But, you know, they just sucked up um, seven, eight hours of your day and stuff like that. You know, to basically do it like that. They just sucked up your entire day. And now you're angry at them. And now they're now now they triggered you, and that's the whole point. They want, they want to trigger you. They want to be in control. So that's why you need to have a set backup, a set backup plan, or a set parenting schedule that you kind of have to you have to enforce. You can't be like sometimes you can't be friendly with somebody that's treating you terribly, even outside of the relationship. Because if you discarded them, it's going to be a lot worse. Because now, how dare you break up with me? How dare you discard the narcissist? How dare you? How dare you get rid of them? And choose you, choose yourself over the narcissist. How dare you abandon them? So they're gonna punish you for abandoning abandoning them. They're gonna make you feel guilty for abandoning them. They might say some crazy stuff in front of the kids, but you have to remain calm and remain in your remain in your power because if you don't, guess what? You do look you, they, the reactive abuse. The reactive abuse ensues, and then they got you. You know what I mean? Then they got you. Like they, that camera come out, they put you on camera or something like that, and then they got you. So that's what you have to do right there. That's exactly what you need to do because like. Uh, that's that's literally how it goes, and things of that nature. Because I I would just say, parenting apps said they have a dedicated parenting schedule, and then like you have to enforce it. Sometimes like if they violate the agreement enough times, then you might get full custody or something like that. Then you have to don't have to worry about parenting arrangements agreements, because that's what happens right there. Too. That's another thing that will happen right there. If you Start taking your power back, and then if they decide to show up six hours late, and you already made a plan, and the, the kids are somewhere else, they're gonna put it on. For, they might go to online. It's like you see, look, you see, if it's a man, they go online. It's like you see, all I want to do is try to parent, and then my my, my ex, my bitter my bitter my bitter baby mama, my bitter ex, my bitter ex wife or whatever, trying to keep me from my kids. I can't pick my kids up without her taking them somewhere else. See, everybody else doesn't know the backstory, so now that, now it's led to a smear campaign. You know, what I mean? so you have to stand in your truth and stand in your power. You know, keep receipts. I keep receipts. You know, keep receipts and things like that because you might have to defend yourself in court because that's you know they can accuse you of parental alienation, trying to keep like intentionally keeping the kid from there, making it you know doing that, just doing that. So you have to be careful. Keep receipts and make sure that you like, hey, I know you said you'd be here at one o'clock. It's now three o'clock. I have I'm taking it somewhere else. And then like that's how you have you have like you one thirty one fifteen. You have to like that's how you hold them accountable because if they want to actively parent, then that's how you do it right there. You know, they might next time they get they, they, they'll, they'll start showing up on time or they won't show up at all. And then you go, then you feel guilty like ah, now I made him abandon the kids. Now I made her like now I made them abandon the kids. Now you feel bad about it because like they didn't want to be a parent anyway. They wanted to torture you. Don't let them torture you because the kids can feel their energy. Kids can sense it. That's why you have to control your reactions. Controlling your reactions is your main power against a narcissistic person. Anyways, y'all, thank you. Hit that like and subscribe button for me. I'm truly appreciative of every single one of y'all. I'm thankful for that. Thankfully, y'all have helped me grow so much. We had 45,000. Wait, what? That is insane. I thank y'all so much, so much. Hit that like and subscribe button. Mental illness is out. Peace.